drink before you saw some shreds of humanity there. In right, the right, play. right, right. It's like, oh, they are like kind of human. <laughs> oh my goodness, they were playing on another level. They they were actually playing on an insane level. Oh god. Un Ooh. Unbelievable. All right. Well, hey, so uh, Hbox just beat S2J and now plays none and we were talking about that the previous Genesis set that they had where none wins game 5 by doing a jump back stomp and we're here we are again one year later. Will history repeat itself? Yeah, well, <sighs> we, <laughs> gotta breathe, gotta breathe. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll see. None, none. I think has a very different approach to the the puff matchup, or at least the H box matchup. I don't really know what it is, but it feels different. <laughs> yeah, the the top Falcons definitely go about it in quite different ways. Mm -hmm. Oh, so if if none is playing H box, that means H box beat Magi. Just looking at the bracket. So that must have already happened as as we were uh, watching the Moki IBDW uh, clobber fest. Right. Oof. Oh man. What I've noticed that none really likes to do in this matchup is jab puff out of the air. And I think it feels oh. like none does it better than the other Falcons in that one particular aspect. The jabbing out of the air I think works out really well. Because then you don't have to worry about puff crouching, right? <laughs> because she's in the air. So you don't right. have to worry about like CC and things of that nature, ASDI down. Uh, ASDI down might still work, but uh -huh. like CC is what I mean. Um, and I think that nets a lot for none because he does like the really quick jabs, you know? I like remember the there was like one clip, and oh, that might be it. Very nice follow up there, of course, right? I think this was none, but like, wasn't there a clip where like a Falcon just like repeatedly jabs Jigglypuff, turns around, and then gets a knee as a follow-up. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 and actually, I think, yeah. that Was that none? I feel like that was none versus Hungrybox. That, that was, or? I think that was none versus Hungrybox. I remember H-Box, like, looking, like, IRL looking crazy, you know? Like, uh -huh. like right, reacting, yeah. like, oh my god, what just happened to me? Mm -hmm. he's, he's live <laughs> reacting to himself getting beat up. <laughs> just so funny that he's just down to do that. Just content-pilled. Mm. Oh? Ooh, okay, the fake stomp. I think uh, Amsa talked about this doing like a fake uh, forward air to like uh, force the tech lock out. So I think Nun was doing like a similar thing there. Mm. Oh, staying outside the pound range, that's mm. that's pretty nice. And doesn't take the bait either. A lot of people would want to grab that. Can't really grab it. Mm -hmm. Wow, double power shield. Oh, and the empty hop into not grabbing. Actually, Puff was had the back turned on shield, so maybe maybe none could have grabbed there, but went for like... See, oh. that's that jab I'm talking about. It's actually really good versus Puff, when you have the speed of none. Okay, just jumps, not wanting to clip Falcon off stage there. There's a speed element, and there's like a control element, right? Because it's like you have to jab twice, maybe you let go, maybe you turn around. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's like some of the stuff that a lot of people you know, haven't really practiced. It's, it's kind of like a... Hold on. Dude, he really does just hit those. He really does just hit those. This is a new H-Box. 2023 H-Box. I don't know that players are ready for this. Like, I... That's scary. That's just really scary. Yeah. He hasn't missed a rest. He's hit, like, the last seven rests in a row. Yeah, of the matches we've seen, all on Falcon as well. Yeah, just been really solid. And even when you don't get the rest punishes, H-Box has the other combos on deck as well. He's got it all. This really feels like an H-Box set where it's, like, game one, it's, like, really back and forth. And then, like, towards the end, it's just the done deal. And then he opens up really strong in the game two. Right. And usually when, <laughs> when sets go this way... Uh, it's it's usually not good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, not going for the rest anymore. Maybe saving his like reaction juice for later. But <laughs> yeah, the last two techs on the platform were uh, opting for back airs instead. But with the combo game as good as it is from H Box, going for back airs really isn't all that bad. Ah oh, man. And also, H Box's power shields are so good. When H Box is crouching and right getting there. those power mm -hmm. shields, it's actually so difficult for Falcon to contend with. Mm -hmm. Your real answer is like stomp or, you know, like baiting them out to do something and then punishing that, but stomp is really like the, the go-to. Mm -hmm. 
Doesn't quite get the knee there off that neutral air. Kind of a little bit too high, and good DI also from H-Box there. Right. It's, it's hard. Th this is the hardest puzzle like we were talking about. What do you do when H-Box is high percent? Mm -hmm. Like, how, how, do you, how do you get them? There are only so many setups that actually, like, you know, guarantee you the stock. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and then it's like, then you have to go for something like that. But in order to get that up air, you have to, like, sometimes lose two stocks of your own. Right. Yeah, especially with the, hard. the neutral that, that H-Box is playing. He's not giving away anything for free at all. I absolutely agree. Super hard to play against Puff with the, the high percent. Because you also don't get the juicy KOs that you get off of, like, air, down throw knee, you know, at the higher percents, I should say. No, you don't. No, it's, it's definitely a lot harder. So, yeah, it's it's just, it's such an interesting H-Box. I kind of want to go back to watch this Amsa set. Okay, yeah, Nair into knee. It's like you have to hit those, and those are so difficult. But even then, it's still a full stock down, man. Because mm -hmm. you have to get Puff to that particular percent to even get the opportunity to Nair knee. And then if you miss that window, it's like, ah. Mm -hmm. Now you got to play the game of building up percent to get. Oh, that was a nice reverse up air. Avoiding the edge guard. But H-Box with the lead. Falcon off stage. And seriously, props to H-Box. Oh, yeah. Gets the edge guard, of course. Mm -hmm. Patented, just long-lasting forward air into another forward air, right? We've seen this so many times. But just H-Box, this, this loser's bracket H-Box, has really just not shown any sign of weakness, right? Like, nope. not giving up any hits, hitting every single offensive pressure combo, uh, great DI overall, not just like 80, 20 hits for no goddamn reason, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a lot. It's a lot to try oh. to. Oh man, the punish game is just okay. Stomped in the, <laughs> the classic. It just feels like none has to hit so hard to even contend with what HBox is doing right now. This is just the most complete I've ever. Oh boy. Felt about HBox. Oh that. Okay, that was a great little mix up from none, and he's gonna get a lot of damage for this. Look at this. Oh, I, uh, but HBox was kind of ready for the, the second level where Nun was doing the empty hop into, you know, maybe punishing a roll or something like that. But HBox just lets the F smash rip. Missing the nair to knee there is big. Potentially could have been a KO. Good DI on that up air. Not going to get the follow up. Right. Man, just making it so hard. It, it feels like every interaction is a potential stock for HBox. And, uh, you know, you one out of four might be one for Nun, and, and Nun got it that time. So, but. Gotta watch out if you're jumping above Puff like that. HBox is waiting for that juicy up air. Playing on the platform, just staying on the platform, waiting for the right opportunity here. I like the little bit of patience, because I think when Falcons have... I, I always think of oh. Wizzy in this matchup, and it feels like Wizzy does take his time in the neutral. And I think that's why he's been the most successful at it, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, just, just over the years, and now, yeah, Nun picking his spots very, very wisely. I think um, he's uh, gonna even it up. This, this is definitely the way. And is that enough? No, apparently not doing it. But some nice power shields from both of them prior to that back air. I like the empty hop mix-ups. Oh wow, getting down throw even at that percent. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I take it all back. Yeah, great on none to really contest HBox while he's that lower percentage, right? Like, mm -hmm. to force a trade there. Oh, the jab, jab into grab, okay. That's what I'm saying, when Puff is like jumping, that jab is really good, because a lot of times you actually get grab off of it, the way that none jabs uh, the Puff in the air. Oh, he went for it all. Okay, yeah, take your time here. You're in a nice spot to get near knee, or a nice spot to get like down throw knee. But HBox really is. Is, HBox is ready for that. Oh, this, this is oh, scary, and... Ah, uh, oh, the tech! That's not it! I take it back. I, I didn't even... Yeah, how did he get back regardless? None looking for his one opportunity. HBox making it super hard for him. Mm -hmm. And now 75%. None honestly might not want to get him to too much higher. And... Oh, oh man. Great drift. Yeah, really good drift. These well-spaced back airs from HBox, though, oh. are going to be hard to contend with. Okay. Okay, okay. yeah, get a, yeah, yeah. Gets a little bit of damage. But None wants so much more than that. Okay. HBox should be able to close this out here. Oh, really good drift. Really great drift from none, but and do it. The solid 3-0. Oh, and the pop-off as well. I heard yes. 
Fuck yeah. <laughs> and he's over there on the stage, and I have headphones on. <laughs> That's the, the power of the H-Fox pop-off. You can hear it through 